Right, we're going to be looking at setting out now and setting out a corner for square. And the best way to do this is using the Pythagoras 345 method. So if I was to, first of all, just start by doing a, a little sketch on here just to try and explain what we're trying to achieve. And then we'll look into the theory behind Pythagoras' um, theorem uh, just to see if we can get a, a good understanding of how we can apply this when we're setting out. So I'm going to draw this in a kind of a perspective, um, not um, too much of a isometric but similar. If this is uh, our frontage line, um, obviously we would have a stake uh, beyond the points of where our corners are going to be for our uh, extension or our house. Um, so we would look at putting the first stake here, there's a bit of grass around, okay so these are our first stake, we'll call this one stake A and obviously on the drawing you would look at the width of the house and you would measure from here along the frontage line to get stake B. Okay so this would be uh, again measured off the curb or the centre of the road uh, or if you've got two uh, adjacent houses the building line would be between the two faces of those so obviously you wouldn't be able to build past that. So uh, this again the frontage line front of the house and uh, we've established point A uh, from the drawing and obviously from the drawing we would look at the width of the house to establish point B. That's all very straightforward but then what we're after doing is going out and establishing stake C and then after that obviously stake D and obviously to do that we'd have to make sure that this angle is 90 degrees so to this angle 90 degrees here. So some ways that uh, I've seen this done on site which is not very good is people tend to occasionally use a builder's square. Now builder's square is just uh, timber but uh, you can buy the nice uh, metal ones now. Um, same principle though. Uh, these in my opinion are only accurate I would say up until around about three meters. So if your building is three meters obviously you would hold the line here and your partner uh, would have the line further back here and he would be moving the line round until the line struck here and then obviously he would say yes and then you would put your stake in so that would be 90 degrees but anything over three meters because three meters is uh, probably a garage size but if you're doing a house and say for example you wanted 11 meters 11 meters of line eyed up here uh, when you get that far, especially on a windy day, uh, you could be 20 mil, even 50 mil um, out of line, out of square. So uh, again, this very, very limited. So um, the way we are going to uh, learn now is the 345 method. And again, this is uh, very, very accurate. Uh, you could, just uh, on the frontage line, measure 3 meters, measure out four meters and then check that you've got the five meters there uh, and that would be obviously square but then again if you did that you are only getting accurate to that four meters again if you were being uh, out here again for example 11 meters you still have the possibility of being inaccurate when the line is held out here for the line to be over that nail to be 90 degrees to then put a point in there on a windy day again and the further you go the eye could uh, misinterpret or uh, be uh, misled into thinking that you are square uh, when in fact you're not so uh, the 345 method is based on this where you have 3, 4 and 5 but we're going to do it a lot more accurate than that so if we just have a look at this principle to start off with, again just to recap what we just said, if this side here is 3 meters 
and then if we had down here four meters and if we measured here and this was five meters the three four five would mean that this is 90 degrees now how can we uh, go into this a little bit further to fully understand what we're actually talking about and how we can apply this when we're setting out well what Pythagoras said was that this side we'll call this side A and we'll call this side B and this one C so what Pythagoras said was again this is the 3 4 5 but we're gonna forget those numbers for a moment we're gonna what Pythagoras said was a squared plus b squared equals c squared okay so that is the formula formula for the 3 4 5 method so what this means is again we can see here we've got 4 we've got 3 and we've got 5 on here so just uh, going into this we have um, this side here 3 squared is 9 obviously 3 times 3 4 times 4 square on that is 16 if you add those two together we can see that we will have 25 so we can see a squared plus b squared equals c squared so that is the principle of the, the Pythagoras method so it is yes the 3 4 5 but this could be any measurement as long as it's squared this could be any measurement as long as you square that if you add them both together you will get the square number here and then all you need to do then to find out the dimension of this is hit the square root button on your calculator so let's just go back to this one and we will just say for example that this is going to be 6 meters we're going to have this one as 10 meters so we want to find out the length of this side here we'll call this side A we'll call this B and we want to find out what C is okay so 10 squared 10 times 10 is 100 plus 6 times 6 36 so we can see that this side squared was 100, this side squared was 36, 136. So we know that 136 is in this side here, 136. So to find the dimension here, we need to find the square root of 136. So I do apologize for the calculator that I have now. Um, my phone updated and uh, now I'm stuck with this one so what we have is 136 and there's the square root button so we hit the square root button and we can see there we have got 11.661 so this dimension here is 11 meters 661 okay so that's the principles of it in the next video uh, we're gonna explain how we use this on site with a tape measure